This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at proton nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. We'll start by looking at a HNMR spectrum. The number of peaks on the spectrum gives the number of chemical environments in which hydrogen atoms are located. The chemical shift is measured relative to TMS, which is tetramethylsilane. We can see this peak on the right and it's assigned a value of 0 ppm. The position of the NMR signal is measured relative to the signal produced by TMS, tetramethylsilane. Tetramethylsilane is composed of a silicon atom bonded to four methyl groups. Next, we look at the NMR spectrum of ethanol in more detail. So on this spectrum, we have two peaks. The area under each peak corresponds to the number of hydrogen atoms in that chemical environment. By using the data from the data booklet, we can identify the type of proton from its chemical shift. For example, we have a peak here at around 9.5 ppm, which corresponds to the hydrogen atom in an aldehyde group. The peak at 2 ppm corresponds to the three hydrogen atoms in the CH3 group. If we look at the structural formula of ethanol, we can see it's composed of a CH3 group and an aldehyde group. Next we look at the NMR spectrum of ethanol. On this spectrum we have three peaks. The first peak corresponds to a CH3 group, the second to an OH group and the third to a CH2 group. And if we look at the structural formula for ethanol we can see it's composed of a CH3, a CH2 and an OH group. And finally we look at an integrated trace. In this spectrum the integrated trace is shown in red. The integrated trace goes up in steps which are proportional to the number of hydrogen atoms in the chemical environment. The CHO group has one hydrogen atom and the CH3 group has three hydrogen atoms. Therefore, this step should be three times higher than this step. 